Hey guys, figured it was time to do another video. Uh, I didn't want anybody to figure that I fell off the face of the earth. Uh, so I'll probably get some slack on this video. You give slack, you get slack. I can take it. So today's video is going to be about the three different pulse motors. Uh, Part of the big one, this one, and then we've got this one here that I'll be demonstrating. I had to take a break from the big wheel. Uh, reason being I wanted to research some of the wireless transmission. Uh, I had noticed that when I had generator coils next to the driver coils that w with separate circuits the driver circuit and the pickup circuit were isolated no contact whatsoever that when you loaded down the generator coils that it affected the consumption rate of the motor uh, you could physically load the shaft and not change consumption rate so I know it was the wireless transmission. So today I am going to be using, uh, I'll be charging 24 volt series. The wind turbine isn't designed to charge 24 volt, but it, it does to a point. This will just be one reading on one big battery here. The second big charge battery will be the big fleet battery, the 1755 cold cranking amp battery, 440 reserve. This meter will be showing the amperage out of the motor, which I think is a little skewed. Um, we'll be running it with one transistor, crank shaft positioning sensor off of a car. This is a car rotor that's on the wind turbine it weighs roughly 20 pounds our pulses will be six pulses per revolution the motor will run off of one pulse per revolution at 30 plus volt so the power supply today will be this little battery charger it was originally in the entry for the 3D printer contest that I did. Uh, we'll be using the kilowatt meter to show the consumption rate of the motor. This will be all output readings. These readings will be kind of crappy, but I think that there's some frequency issues causing the meters to read wrong. And there's some cancellation going on inside the motor from the pulse. The motor is wired in the original configuration. It's a three phase. All three sets of coils are center tapped. I'm not utilizing the center tap. I will start this motor up. We'll show some of the rates. Then we'll come right over to this one. So I can explain the wiring here. So let's start this. Charge battery voltage is roughly 12.27, 12.28 on one of the batteries in series. I won't be showing the second battery voltage. One's plenty enough. So let's get the kilowatt meter out here. This power supply here only puts out roughly 23 volts. Throwing nothing all the same. It'll take a minute to get it up to speed. The power supply is connected with the caps paralleled. It actually causes the motor to draw less power. So we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Give it a second to come up to speed. This will be the output amperage. Let me 
adjust the time until we get her up to speed. Currently, we're using under four watts. It's a wind turbine, so it is RPM based. We'll give it a second. It takes a minute to come up to speed. Just the timing again. Turn the timing up some more. Let her come up to speed. Still coming up. Still coming up to speed. Just the timing again. Usually it goes to, to 0.05, but there's some serious cancellation going on on the inside. It is doing roughly 600 plus RPMs. <laughs> So there's my output amperage on a wind turbine spinning at 600 RPMs at 5 watt. We have a trigger coil over here that I've been experimenting with trying to get my trigger coil voltage correct for transistors. Uh, these are LEDs. This is a license plate bulb. It's not an LED. So if we go ahead and just bring the generator coil in. Set the torch off. Filming is lit. Hundred and fifty feet of aluminum wire. Pull her back. The RPMs definitely slowed down a little bit. All right, so this video just ain't a spinny spin video. We'll come over here and look at this one real quick. This is the same identical motors what we just seen. There's three different sets of coils. They're all overlapped. I undid the wires because it was three phase with the center tap. I isolated every set of coils on the motor. It gave me six coils to 
collect from. I currently have them all wound in series. Every set, I'm calling the first one my L1, my second set my L2, the outer set is the L3, I'm calling my Magnus the L4. I have all of them in series, uh, running to a bridge rectifier, into some caps in series. These caps are 3600 UF each, 40 volt. I have the caps hooked to the charge controller to this little battery. Open voltage on the motor running is well over 60 volts. I'm going to go ahead and unhook the charge controller. The caps currently have 2.5 volts in them. Move it over so we can see it. My work area is a clusterfuck. So it's at 2.5 volts. We're just going to give the motor one quick spin. And we went to 28 volts. We'll discharge the caps. Drain them out. Show it one more time. So current voltage is 9.8 in the caps. Give her one little spin with the finger. 33. We spin it again. 45. So we'll hook the charge controller back up. Let her drain down, bring it back over. So, the battery's at 12.5. Charge controller says it's not charging. Here's the voltage in our caps. I'm just going to spin it by finger, which isn't real hard at all. And it puts out enough to charge. Holding the caps at 15.3 through the charge controller. That way nobody misunderstands that this thing is heavy cog. It's not. It's very cog free at the moment. So real output from a real motor. Okay, so we'll walk back over here, just check it again real quick. Definitely charging. Doesn't say much amperage, but I don't believe that's true. Because at these RPMs, we should be getting more amperage out of the machine. If you adjust the timing, you can clearly watch cancellation that happens in the motor. Now it says we're getting no amperage at them RPMs. No output on the motor. Just something weird. We can unhook the secondary 24 volt charge battery. Ah. Uh. Let her free rev. Oh, actually, I put it on 12 volt. That'll free rev. Yeah, it's a pretty st stupid thing. Like, I am directing my back spike into 
the run caps and not my charge batteries. She coming back up to speed here. Still coming up to speed. See if we can get her a little bit faster yet. Well, thanks for watching, guys.